relationship between police and scientists in the Midlands could revolutionise the investigation of some of the most complex murder cases. £150,000 is being invested by West Midlands Police at the University of Warwick to develop 3D printing science that could be used to reproduce forensic evidence. Our science correspondent David Gregory Kumar reports. This is the future of police forensics. Suspect weapons from a criminal case being recreated in a 3D printer at WMG at the University of Warwick. You can demonstrate to your jury how the, how the injury has been caused and it's really compelling. It helps the jury understand uh, actually what goes on inside the body when somebody's murdered. Since 2011, the researchers here have been helping the police investigate crimes. And this is evidence from that first case. The police had unidentifiable charred lumps of something and they brought it here to be scanned and within those lumps the team here found this human bone which they then 3D printed and when this was shown to the jury it was enough to help convict the police's prime suspect. But this new investment of £150,000 puts the relationship on an official footing for the first time. Well this is about uh, supporting uh, first aid, the post-mortem process, so if the pathologist sees something suspicious we can use our high resolution scanners to try and detect micro injuries or um, evidence that can help point to the cause of death. But this isn't just about 3D printing knives and yes bones, much of the technology here at WMG will revolutionise forensic science. So some of the things that we might want to be looking at, we might want to be doing more on fingerprints and footwear, mark scanning, we want to be looking at blood pattern analysis, we want to do more on ballistics trajectories and we want to have a look at data storage in uh, damaged and burnt digital devices. So far more than 100 cases have benefited from the facilities here, giving the police a whole new set of tools to investigate some of the most difficult crimes they have to deal with. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today at the University of Warwick.